Hey guys, it's Brittany with Scott Leroy Marketing. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create a neighborhoods page using the neighborhood section of a contact profile. This will allow you to generate a URL and advertise multiple neighborhoods you cover with their statistics right on your website. We'll start by setting ourselves up as a test contact within command. So I'm logged in right on the home screen and I'm just going to click on the contact section right on the top left hand corner. Once this page loads, if you've previously added yourself in as a test contact with a personal email, you can just search for yourself using the search bar. I, however, know I'm not in this database, so I'm just going to create a new contact profile by clicking on Add Contact. I'm going to start by adding in my name, and I'm going to put my last name as test just so I can find it. And then personal email. Once you have your name and your email added, I'm just going to click on add more information and then add contact information. If you scroll down a little bit, you'll see the location for a physical street address. So I'm just going to add a physical street address that's in the location that I'm trying to pull neighborhoods from. This is just going to make it a little bit easier to actually search for those neighborhoods. So I'm gonna start by typing in an address. You'll notice that as I type in an address, I do get a drop down list that populates right underneath. You'll want to make sure that you select your physical street address from that drop down list. So I'm just going to select the first one right in Ellington, Florida. Once you have that added, you scroll down a little bit more. We're just going to click on the create button. Once you create your contact, mine shows up right on the main page, but if yours doesn't, you can just search for it by your first name, and then I'll see it populate right here. So now we're just gonna open that contact profile we just created. The first thing that you'll notice is that it already assigns a neighborhood, and that's because we selected that physical street address from that drop-down list. So it already added the neighborhood that that physical street address is actually located in. So now, in order to add additional neighborhoods that I may want to advertise, I'm just going to click on Add Neighborhood. Once you guys click on this, you'll see there is a, where, a location where you can actually type in a neighborhood that you're looking for. I'm actually going to click on the Find on a Map option because it's going to allow me to select multiple neighborhoods all at once. So I'm going to click on Find on Map. Once that populates for you, all of these locations that are selected in green are neighborhoods that you can select. So you can zoom in, you can zoom out, depending on where you are. You'll notice that as you zoom in, the neighborhoods will actually fill in a little bit better as well. If it did pull you to a location that maybe you're not really looking for, you can also search with the search box icon right on the top left-hand corner. So I can also type in and I can pull up a different area. And then just zoom in with their, your plus sign or minus sign. So once I've typed that information in, I'm just going to start clicking on neighborhoods that I want to promote. And you'll notice as you're clicking on them, they'll populate right down here, right underneath your map. So I'm gonna select a couple of neighborhoods. Once I have all of my neighborhoods selected, I'm just going to click on the save icon. And once you do that, you'll notice you have your subscribe to neighborhoods populate right on your timeline. And then you'll also see all of your neighborhoods right here. So on the map, if there was a specific neighborhood that maybe you couldn't find or someone had requested it and you're not 100% sure where it's located around, you can always try pulling this up as well in the search box. So if I come in here and type in Bradenton, Florida, it will pull up all of the recommended areas. It will also give you suggested neighborhoods based on the physical street address that you previously added. So once you've gone ahead and added all of that in, and you have all of your neighborhoods that you want populating, I'm just going to click on Copy Link, which is right underneath the map. Once you click on that, you'll notice it says copy, copied for a few seconds, and then it will go back to say copied link, but that does mean that you do have that link copied. 
Once I have that done, I'm just going to open up a new browser or a new tab on my browser and pull up iframe generator. I'm just going to pull up the first one. This is the one we usually use. So it's www.iframe-generator.com. Once you guys have that page up, you're just going to click on where it says iframe URL and you're just going to paste that information in. So that's the URL that you just copied from all of those neighborhoods. Once you paste that in, the only thing we're going to want to adjust for this platform specifically is going to be the width and the height. So the width, I'm going to set that to be 900 and height, I'm going to set it to be 1400. Once you guys have those numbers set, you click on generate and then preview, it will show you what that page is going to look like. And then you'll see that page right here. So now that we're able to see that it's populating, I'm gonna go right back into my iframe generator and I'm just going to click on copy it, which is going to copy that code for us so we can now add that to a new page on our website. I'm gonna click copy it. Now I can go back to command. And now we can get out of this contact profile and we're gonna click on consumer, which is going to bring us to where we can add this page to our website. Once you're on the consumer page, you should see create a new site right on the top right hand corner. We're gonna click on that. And then we're going to click on on my agent site. and then we'll create page. The first thing you'll want to do just to keep your pages organized is to label this page. So I'm gonna label it Bradenton, Florida neighborhoods. And nobody else is going to see this. This is just for your reference so you know what it is. Once I have that information added, what I'm going to do is grab the company profile widget, which is right on the right hand side. I'm just going to grab it and I'm just going to drop it right on that blank screen. Once you've done that, we're just going to click on configure widgets right on the bottom right hand corner of your screen. Then we'll click on company profile. And the first thing we want to do is give this page a headline. So I'm going to put Bradenton neighborhood. Once I have my headline in, I'm going to select all of my intro text and delete it. And I'm actually going to right click and paste the code that I just got. Once you've done that, we're actually just going to delete the rest of the information in here. So for the section one heading, I'm just removing it. Section one text does require something. So I'm just going to put a space just kind of as a placeholder. Then for the section one image, we're just going to delete it. I'm going to delete my section two heading, my section two text, my image, and then I'm also going to delete the footer. Once you guys have deleted all of that, so again, everything should be empty. You'll have a space in your section one text, and then you'll have your code right in the intro text. Once you've done that, we're just going to click save and apply. And it may take a second to load. Perfect. So once you have that populating, you'll see that all of this is pulling up. You have all of your information populating. And I'm just going to click on Save Changes, top right-hand corner. And then click Yes. Once you're back on this page, you'll notice that the I for this new page that we just made is actually populating as being gray. So we want to make sure that that gets updated to teal. So in order to make this a live page, we're going to go up into site and app settings. Then we're going to click on site pages. 
Then we're going to click on add page. Once this populates, you're just gonna scroll down. All your newer pages are gonna populate at the bottom and you'll see the new one that I just created. So I have my Bradenton, Florida neighborhoods and I'm gonna select that bubble and I'm just gonna click on continue. Once you've done that, you still need to give this page a title. So I'm gonna put Bradenton, Florida. Actually, we'll put the neighborhood. And then SEO description, I'm actually just gonna replicate that for that. And then for my slug, I'm just gonna put Bradenton. So now we can see once this is live, this will be our URL for the page. So once you've added all of that information, you're just gonna wanna scroll down and click on save page changes. Once you get that settings were updated successfully, you know your page is live. So now what we can do is just copy that URL and I'm just gonna paste it right into a new page. And it may take a second to load. Usually when you first make a page live, it takes a second. So now I have my braid into neighborhood. Here's all of my neighborhood information. You'll see that I can click on multiple neighborhoods. It will pull up the listings within that neighborhood. I can also click on neighborhood stats, which will pull up the statistics for the neighborhood. And you'll still have this same toolbar. So you can essentially go through, they can pull up the statistics for South Venice, all of these locations. And then you'll notice if you scroll all the way down, they also have nearby schools, local insights, properties in the area that are for sale, and then interested let's, let's talk. So the interested let's talk, when a client provides their information, that will actually feed right into your command database for you. So that is how you add your neighborhood information and make that page live.